In June 2016, Prime Minister David Cameron called out to all citizens in the United Kingdom to cast their vote. This wasn't an electoral vote, but rather an opinion poll on whether the UK should continue with or secede from the EU. He was confident that the citizens would not want to leave, but was let down. The United Kingdom created history that day, with close to 52% of people voting in favour of leaving the European Union. David Cameron resigned as Prime Minister the day after the results were announced, and Theresa May took his place. She has promised to invoke Article 50 before April 2017. Article 50 is a formal notification of the intent to separate from the EU along with complete guidelines on how to do so. Once invoked, terms such as future trade relations with the EU will be discussed. The process is supposed to take a maximum of two years. This is the first time a member nation will invoke Article 50 and hence the road ahead is very unclear. Once invoked, there is no going back. The government were on the path to trigger Article 50, but a recent Supreme Court ruling has stated that they need to get the bill approved by Parliament first. The members of Parliament are under tremendous pressure as they have been given just five days to decide on it. So why did people vote this way? Firstly, people in Britain felt that their leaders were having lesser and lesser say when it came to defending national law at the European level. In their eyes, the EU was an agent of change that was dismissive of their way of life and public opinion. Secondly, they were very concerned about restrictions placed on them due to European immigration laws. The United Kingdom government had proposed that people coming from other parts of the EU must live in the UK and contribute to it for at least four years before they get access to social housing and other benefits. This was opposed by the EU, making many wonder why the EU has this much say in Britain's social welfare. Thirdly, as laid down by the EU, all member countries are expected to adopt the Euro latest by 2020. Many in the UK felt they were being forced to abandon the pound and adopt the Euro against their wishes. They have been skeptical about this as the pound has always been the stronger currency and they have believed the euro to be unstable, as it can be influenced by economically weaker countries. Fourthly, people feel that being a part of the European Union is costing the country billions of dollars a year. The free trade agreements that it enjoys are not enough to offset this cost. They would rather be an independent nation and have the complete freedom to strike trade agreements with countries outside the EU as well, such as India and China. The vote has shown how divided Britain are on the issue, and the bill if passed would be the start of a new era in European politics.